Hey everybody, it's Lon Seibin, and we are back with my MacBook Pro because Apple has apparently officially uh, fixed the audio issue that was blowing out speakers on the new MacBook Pros when you are in Windows 10. Now this fix will not uh, fix your broken speakers if they are already blown up like mine are, uh, but it will fix the problem before it happens if you have uh, the older driver installed and haven't yet had your speakers get blown up by Windows 10 and Boot Camp. So uh, if you look on the uh, Apple software updater, which you will find on your start menu while you're in Windows, Windows. It's under A, of course, Apple Software Update. When you run that, uh, you should see this option in there, Audio Driver Update for Boot Camp 6.1. Apple says the Audio Driver Update for Boot Camp fixes a bug which may disable speaker tuning and can cause an issue with notebook speakers when played at very high volume. The issue only affects new MacBook Pro late 2016 models running Windows 10 with Boot Camp. Now, I would disagree with them that it only happens at high volume because my volume wasn't very loud at all when my speakers blew up, but if this is indeed the fix to the problem, hopefully this will be it and I'll be uh, back up in running as soon as my replacement Mac arrives. And uh, to give you an update on that, what happened was on Friday, the day after I made the video that 20,000 or more of you watched, I called up uh, Apple Care, and what the solution initially was that they were going to just take mine back over, the, you know, via the mail because my Apple store is too far away for it to be convenient for me, and they were go going to repair it and then send it back. But that could have been a two or three week downtime, uh, depending on what their solution was. So on Sunday, out of the blue, I got a call from Apple Care who said, "You know what? This problem is pretty widespread. We're going to actually do one better and send you an advanced replacement." So what they're going to be doing is uh, once they get one, because this is a custom configured uh, machine with the uh, higher end GPU, so they're not as readily available. Uh, when they get one available, they're going to send it to me and then I will send this one back to them. So I have to wipe this one out and then restore it onto the new one. So a little bit of work on my part to get it fixed, but I was happy that I was able to actually hold on to the computer and use it because it's still fully functional minus the fact that the speakers are blown up on it. Uh, so I can plug headphones into it and continue to do my video editing and play some games and whatnot uh, and still be able to carry on. And then when the new one gets here, I can just swap it out and be uh, back on my way. So Apple definitely did good for me. I didn't have to go through too much aggravation to uh, get this problem resolved. If you did not get the same resolution that I was offered, uh, you should call back Apple Care and demand it because there's no reason why I should get something you don't hear. So uh, demand an advanced replacement. This was a very sloppy thing on Apple's part to miss this because this is not some obscure thing running boot camp on a Mac. It's not done by uh, a lot of Apple users, but there are a lot that do. Uh, and it really should have been something they should have caught when they were testing this hardware out uh, with their boot camp drivers because those drivers are made for this machine and it seems to be happening to everyone uh, who installed it. So make sure that driver is on 6.1. Now if you don't see that message pop up while you're in Windows and you're concerned about it, uh, you can always go into the Boot Camp Assistant, go up to the Actions menu here, and then just download the Windows support software. Put it on a USB stick or something. You'll have to use your dongle to connect it, of course. Uh, and then you can install that entire package again via Windows and that should uh, carry over the uh, new driver as well. But chances are if you install Boot Camp like in the last two or three days. They had updated the driver several days ago. They just didn't make the official pronouncement until I booted up my uh, computer today. So uh, just be on the lookout for that because you definitely want to make sure that new driver is in there because it looks like at some point this will happen to everyone who's on the old driver uh, running Windows 10 on their new 2016 MacBook. Uh, this only affects boot camp and booting natively into Windows. If you're on a virtualized environment like using uh, VMware or Parallels, you're fine. Uh, it's just boot camp and it's just on these new uh, 2016 Mac. So that's the update officially fixed according to them. When my new Mac arrives, we will boot up Windows again and hope it doesn't blow up the speakers. And if it does, you'll know about it. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by my Patreon supporters, including Gold Level supporter Eric. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash Patreon to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.